welcome to another day another vlog today is sunday um april 30th the last day of april so you already know what i'm about to do okay i'm gonna be doing my may reset um here's a tea i started this reset yesterday uh, yesterday i focused a lot on organizing my closet my closet was in a mess like a lot of mess so i spent yesterday's afternoon organizing my closet and then today i really focus on cleaning okay changing my bedding splitting in you know doing my laundry but this time around my laundry is gonna take a while because i'm gonna dry the, the machine i regularly never do that like um I like to air dry my clothes but it's the rainy season we literally dip into the rainy season so that is really not an option for example it's been raining this entire afternoon so I just decided I'm just gonna you know wash and dry with the washing machine everything so laundry day is gonna take a while so I have the first load in yay so yeah i think right now i'm just gonna focus on notion and everything um so before we even get into the video okay don't mind my look don't mind how i look today like i said it's in the middle it's literally late afternoon i think it's almost four and it's cold it's been raining and i feel cold and i don't really like when my ears get cold i don't know why but i don't really like when my ears get cold so i'm wearing pajamas because it's the end of the day so they have this beanie on because it's cold and then I have a cup of tea because it's cold, okay? I have tea. I love tea. Like, I take coffee first thing in the morning. Not really first thing. But the beverage of choice, the beverage of choice in the morning is always coffee. But I try and have coffee once a day. I'm not trying to age my skin. I know coffee plays a weird part. So, I kind of just limit my coffee intake to one or twice. Once or twice a day. But any other time I feel like taking a hot beverage, I have some cardamom tea, which is perfect. So... Yeah, so before I even get to the main reset, yo, we have to talk. We need to talk, actually. Um, the last month, child, my April, welcome to April Reflect. Because <laughs> I never, ever, ever want to have a month like April in my life ever again. April was the worst month for me mentally speaking um <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not i'm not trying to be dramatic or anything but april could have gone to hell honestly speaking and i'm glad that it's over and i'm glad that i did the best reset for any other month like here's the team not every single monthly reset i reorganize my life like i reorganize my closet and stuff but for this time i decided um it's better for me to rearrange everything and 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 that's exactly what i did now here's why okay april let's talk about it for a minute let's talk about it for a minute before we even go to may planning and goal setting and whatever i think april was the last straw i don't even know where i'm gonna put it i since the year started um i've been indoors like i've been at home um i didn't have school so i didn't really have a reason to get out or leave plus i was lazy and antisocial basically it's the most antisocial i've ever been in my entire life so for the last two months specifically i only left the house to go shopping and nothing else so i think it kind of took a toll a little bit because it's really not healthy to isolate and like be indoors all day every day that's why so many people fell into depression during COVID-19 lockdown and whatever because it is not healthy for you to just be in the house and not socialize whatsoever and that's how I've been mostly since January but most specifically the last two or so months I think yeah the last two or so months from like end of february to well now <laughs> because i haven't really gone out to socialize or whatever and i think that kind of you know when you're isolated and i'm not really i don't know why i'm saying it like that but when i isolate myself from actually i am i i tend to isolate you kind of start having so much time with your brain and your thoughts and that doesn't really end well and it never really ended well for me because in april i had the biggest 
crush of my life. Not like crush in a book or something, no, not that kind of crush. Like my body crushed. C R A S H. I crashed, basically. Um, the month of April I had so many, I'm gonna call them forced breaks that I had to take like for example that whole week that I didn't do nothing I just you know slept the whole week that was one of the, that was the biggest crush I've ever had in my life because I had never gotten to a point that I just don't want to do nothing that week I didn't want to do nothing I didn't want to talk to people everybody irritated me including dogs even my puppies irritated me everything I was so irritable like so so much I'm just so irritable, everyone is just irritating, like, you could just tell me something, maybe it's an important thing that you're talking to me about, and I'd be like, what the fuck are you talking to me? I wouldn't tell you that, but in my head I'm like, I don't want to listen to this. And the month of April, that's exactly, that's, it's been that kind of roller coaster. Today I'm productive, tomorrow, fuck life, the next day I want to cry, um, the next day I am fine again, the following day I just don't want to do nothing. It was a cycle that I really... I did not enjoy, uh, but I kind of did something, although I didn't do as much as I wanted to, but it's okay, that happens, um, but now I think everything is going to change because no more isolation, no more staying in the house, I'm going to be forced to go out because I'm starting school, and actually next week is orientation, uh, basically Monday, tomorrow, the, the day after tomorrow I start my orientation and then the week after I, next week I now 100% start classes and whatever and I decided that I'm not going to do online classes, I'm going to do physical classes so that I can go outside and see human beings and stop staying in the house you know because it wasn't good for me um it's not like i like socializing i have social anxiety so i don't really like people or i don't like uh, talking to people but when i leave the house like when i go a different you know the drive to school is going to be like 30 minutes to and fro so basically an hour a day on the road and you know seeing people and stuff maybe it's gonna you know change the um normality that i used to have in my head and I think with that, I'm going to bring back weekly vlogs and everything. So a lot is, you know, going to change. I'm trying to pivot how I've been living for the last couple of months. It wasn't healthy. It wasn't healthy for me. It wasn't healthy for anyone. I think that's why I was crushing like a lot. I wasn't the most productive, meaning I kind of did not post as much as I wanted. I have missed a couple of posting dates, upload dates. Um... For my channel, I've missed a couple, like a lot actually. If you can see how much, how many videos I've posted. Let's see, from April, you see. Okay, this is April 1st. I'm talking about real, like April 1st I posted. Uh, no, this is just a, April 1st I posted um, April monthly, monthly reset. And then this month, I only posted one YouTube short, which is against what I've always done. I've always wanted to post three to four YouTube shorts a week. That's what I did in the month of March, but it's okay. And then this month, I April, I only posted one, two, three, four, five, six videos instead of, I think this month could have feed nine videos instead of nine videos i only but okay instead of eight to nine videos i only posted six videos and instead of uh, like multiple youtube shorts i only posted one so this month was not the best not the most productive it's okay next month will be better so let's go to um, notion and we see if we achieved anything that we wanted to do this month which i I honestly doubt but it's okay let's go to my monthly um okay let's see the goals that I put for the month of April I have work on my 5 a.m. morning routine I did not do that I work out three to four times I actually did do that eat healthier I try actually I really try to do that um especially for dinner so I achieved the workout and I achieved the eating healthy I'm focused on hydration 
yes actually i really focus on that like i drink a lot of water nowadays i'm not as much as i want to but just enough complete weekly tasks no no not even i'm focused on maintaining morning routine no be consistent on youtube no achieve no um create better yeah i did create but it's just the fact that i <laughs> didn't post enough um, always make sure you plan your videos. Okay, no. Laziness will stand. No. <laughs> so, I haven't achieved a lot that I wanted this month. But that's okay. It freaking happens. So, I think I'm going to focus on writing new ones. Um, for the month of April. Not April. May. Let's just... Let's just go to May. for the month um we're just gonna go through them quite quickly um because you know we don't need to take too long on it um so first things first i have to work on my 5 a.m morning routine period i don't really have another choice so i have to work on it because it's important in the sense that it's necessary it's necessary to have that routine. Um, when I say 5 a.m., I can basically wake up between 5 a.m. and 6 a.m. No earlier than 5 a.m., no less than 6 a.m. to have perfect amount of time to grab ID and get to school. And then I have, because it's on my channel, um, this month I have to drop 8 to 10 videos depending on how productive I can be. The reason why I'm saying 8 to 10 is because... If I follow my routine, if I follow my schedule, I can post nine videos. The reason I'm saying eight to nine, eight to ten is just to get, you know, things happen in, in the month. You don't really know, like, you know, you're not really 100% sure. So, plus or minus one video, okay? Um, the next one is post regularly, or rather post more YouTube shorts. Um, YouTube shorts, I noticed, they really help me get more engagement more subscribers more average and everything so i kind of want to focus on posting more on on, on the shorts or whatever i may have to work out work out five times a week i can hack this because for the last two weeks i think i've been working out five times a week mostly i stick uh, i basically took or let me and my mom go for like an hour long walk around five to six kilometers every single day not every single day five times a week so that's why I have work out five times a week, 30 to 60 minutes, um, depending on the exercise of the day. And I think I mostly be working on in the morning. It's quite easier for me or the, you know, because if, if, if I'm tired from the day, I don't really think I can work out at night. So 30 to 60 minutes. Um, and then I have great routine. I kind of want to, you know, get on that a little bit more. And then I have... Um, I have this. I used to have this rule. Now I've not been using it lately. But two hours before I sleep and after I wake up, I'm not gonna use my phone unless it's really, 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 really necessary. And then I want to start journaling and meditating as well. Um, I notice I really can't meditate because meditation includes switching, switching off your brain. My brain doesn't work like that. It's always running, but it's okay. And then keeping everything around me organized because i noticed the more messy my area is the more likely i get into a slum and my productivity just knows guys so that's one thing and then i have read more i have books that i bought that i never finished to read 
<laughs> so I kind of want to get back to the reading culture that I had started a couple of, uh, a couple of, I think last year, at the beginning of last year. And then the main goal for May is to start school, basically. <laughs> they really know the way. That's the main, main um, focus for the month. Now we're gonna do a little weekly check in, um, and then we're gonna do a little organizing on YouTube, like the videos that are going up in a couple of weeks or days and stuff. So let me do that real quick. Real quick. kilometers per hour but it's okay okay I am done done and dusted I think now I'm just gonna lay in bed and or I can sit here and watch a bunch of YouTube videos if I get tired I'm just gonna lay in bed who oh, did I did I wait give me one second uh, this is what I'm telling you y'all I my brain is working like a lot um yeah i think i'm so used to doing monthly and weekly reset to the point that it's in my blood like if i don't do it oh god this is even cold right now if i don't do it i'm gonna feel like something is missing and it's not a good feeling when you have something missing so i am now so into doing my reset they kind of really it helped me like start the week like I start the week on a good note especially now that I am so prepared for the coming for the coming week and month it's a new month a new week literally the new week it's starting at the same time as a new month so it's incredible it's incredible it's the perfect time to reset and rearrange and reorganize so you can be there for maximum productivity. Anyway, enough chatting and rambling. Um, that is all I had for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video. Thumbs up, yay. And I think I'm just going to see you guys in my next video. Okay, goodbye. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her